Okay, so now let's try to see how to solve question number 10 in AIMO 2020, which was last year AIMO. Now, this question was five mark and it's geometry. And as I said, last questions most of the times have a bonus pause. Now, let's see what the question says. Uh, the question says, I have this two triangle here. These angles are all alpha. Now you have to find actually the position of x. So as you move x, these angles will change. Now the question says, find the position of x in such a way that this triangle and this triangle are both isosceles, so it means these are alpha, and then find the value of alpha. So that's what we're trying to do. Now the thing about geometry, is most geometrical problems have many, many different ways to uh, be solved. Your approach could be completely different from mine. Now, the thing is, the first step in all of them, even if you want to do very, very different ways, is always try to see what's going on in the question, gather information, and then use your creativity to solve it. Now, First of all, we know this is alpha, this is alpha, so S, X, O is an isosceles triangle. B, A, X, again, is an isosceles triangle. Another thing we know is because these two angles are again here, so these two triangles should be similar. And this angle is actually not unknown. We know this based on alpha. So this should be 180 minus two alpha, Instead of that, I will write it as beta, not to take too much space, and I know beta is 180 minus 2 alpha. Now, in order to solve this question, one way is try to connect this point to B. Now, what we have is we have a triangle AOB, and this triangle AOB is again isosceles. Do you know why? Let's take a minute, find it why A, O, B is isosceles. Okay, so as you may have known, O, A is the radius of the circle. Again, O, B is the radius of the circle. So yeah, O, B, A is isosceles. Now when O, B, A is isosceles, when this angle is alpha, definitely this angle should also be alpha. So we know this is alpha, yeah? Another thing we know is, let's try to see OX, which is base of COX, and BA, which is base of OBA. Now what we know is triangle OAB is congruent with triangle O. So I said OAB and COX. Therefore, those bases should be the same. What we know is AB equals OX. So this is because this triangle and this triangle are congruent. Now we know AB equals BX because this triangle is isosceles. I write it. So we know AB equals BX. From these two equations, we understand BX equals OX. Therefore, OXB is also an isosceles triangle. And what we know is this angle is same as this angle. And this angle is actually beta because O is B O A is same as X O A, so this becomes beta, and this becomes beta. Now looking at this, we know that two beta is alpha. So I write it: two beta is alpha, and we knew that 180 minus two alpha is beta. We're going to just substitute them. So what we know is instead of alpha, I'll have two beta. So this equation, I write it, beta is 180 
minus 2 alpha, which is going to be 4 beta, and I know 4 beta is going to be 180, and beta is going to be 180 divided by 5, and beta is going to be 36 degrees. Now, the question does not ask us beta to find beta. The question asks us to find alpha, which is twice beta, and we know alpha is twice beta, which is 72 degrees. And that completes our proof. Now, another thing in the question, as I said, it has a bonus thought, is what if instead of two isosceles triangles, we had three isosceles triangles? And what if we had four or five or up to n? Can you solve that? See you.